Today we're testing out several exotic types of sugar to see which one makes the best cotton candy. Guys, today's video is a recommendation from Reddit user Sven3067, who pointed out that Rhett and Link on Good Mythical Morning had done a video testing several different types of exotic sugar. Here in the United States, most of the time when we say sugar, we usually mean just this normal granulated white sugar or occasionally a light brown sugar. There are a lot more types of sugar than that, and Rhett and Link on their channel tested out just a blind taste test of several of those, and we want to see which of those make cotton candy, and if they do, what the cotton candy tastes like. Here's the basic idea. Following Rhett and Link on Good Mythical Morning, we got our hands on several types of exotic sugar. It was suggested that we try making cotton candy out of each of these to see which one is the best and which ones don't work. Some of them are different brands, but they are the same types, I think. So going through, so we do have our granulated white sugar and we have our light brown sugar, the most used in the United States. We then have actual cotton candy sugar that's specifically formulated for cotton candy machines. This is basically a control to say like, oh, how do all of the others stack up against this? Then going through, we've got Belgian pearl sugar. And I got this one. This one actually wasn't on Good Mythical Morning, but I got this one because it is made from beet sugar. Uh, most American sugar is cane sugar, but sometimes it's also beet and gets combined. I just wanted to see if this definitely pure beet sugar would be any different. And it's also fun because it comes in these interesting little, they call them pearls. It's just chunks of granulated sugar together. We've got date sugar. The ingredients actually say is made up of granulated dehydrated date. So I'm thinking from that description that they're drying out dates a lot and then grinding them into powder. We have as a product of Thailand, pure palm sugar. And it's in these interesting pucks that are very dense. We'll take these out and look at them more. Honey powder. The ingredients are cane syrups and honey. So I don't know exactly the method that they use to make these granules, but we'll take a look at these. We're also gonna taste and all of them. And we've had trouble with honey in the past. We have, we've tried to make honey in the cotton candy and we've not succeeded, but this has cane sugar mixed in with it, so maybe. This is Demerara sugar. It is cane sugar. This is from Jamaica, I believe. It looks very similar to what in the United States would be sold as unrefined sugar. This one is Organic maple sugar? Maple sugar, so I assume it's extracted from maple trees and is like maple syrup distilled even farther down until it's just the sugar. Okay, and last but not least, we have got coconut, coconut sugar. sugar. So looking at the texture of this. It tastes like a Teddy Graham. It kind of looks like you ground up Teddy Grahams. Like it almost has a tiny bit of a burn flavor to it. I'm not sure if that's just a bitterness or not. Yeah, it has a graham, honey, mm -hmm. toasted sort of flavor to it. The texture of this one almost looks like a flower. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very fluffy. Soft. That is such a strong flavor because it dissolves so quickly and yeah. it's so fine. Which I think is actually something they mentioned as well. Ooh. No, I think this one's going to be my favorite so far. I mean, we've only two down, but that is so good. The Demerara brown sugar, it says in the ingredients. You can see slightly larger crystals, nice golden brown color. I'm pretty familiar with that. I've used it before, it's like sprinkles on the top of cakes and stuff. It has a nice warm flavor to it in comparison to just regular bleach cane sugar. All right, here's our honey powder. And this, oof, very honey? strong honey smell. Taking a look at the texture Interesting. here. It looks like amaranth. It does look pretty similar to amaranth that we made our tiny popcorn out of. Oh, honey. It has a kick of honey flavor. Oh yeah. And smell just all hits you. The texture is, is interesting because it does kind of feel like sand at first, but, but it does it's break down. Chewy almost. All right, so this palm sugar. It doesn't taste terribly different. But it's so soft. It is soft. Date sugar. And it looks quite a bit like sand or ground up graham cracker again. Similar, but not quite as dark as the coconut. No. There is a sugary taste to it, but then like another taste kind of comes in and overpowers that. I think you're right. It's ground up dates because it leaves behind such a sandy texture in your mouth. It doesn't all dissolve. It's not all sugar. There's mm -hmm. something else there, fibers. I'm, I am, I think we'll probably try that one last in the machine yeah. because I don't have a lot of high hope. Beet sugar, these little pearl crystals, they crunch pretty easily. 
pretty standard sugar. Just big pieces of sugar. You know, sugar cubes, but little mm -hmm. lumps instead. Well, let's get started. So the idea is that we're going to try equal weight of each of these sugars in the cotton candy machine, and we'll see how they do. What does it taste like? Does it thread nicely? Some types of things we've cooked, like corn syrup, for instance, has a tendency to come out as more of like a fiberglass yeah. texture than a light cotton. So we're gonna try it. Okay, we've got 25 grams of our blue cotton candy sugar. This is our, you know, this is what I expect will work the best. Everything else is kind of being compared to this in terms of production. It's not necessarily for taste. This will taste like blue raspberry sugar. Everything else is unflavored except it's just natural sugar flavor. Okay. That is a pretty good quantity of cotton candy. That was from 25 grams of the cotton candy sugar. Next up, let's just try standard white sugar. Okay, go for it. That is really close, if not equal to the standard cotton candy sugar. And there's still a little bit more sugar in there, I think, mm -hmm. to go. No, it's still going. Very impressed at the volume we've got. Now we're doing standard light brown sugar. It has molasses, and we've not tried molasses in the machine before. So hopefully it doesn't cause problems. You can gum everything up. Hopefully I can get it into the machine fast enough as well. Wow. Immediately I am surprised. It's making sheets. At the color. I really thought the brown sugar would give us browner cotton candy. Yeah, it's definitely there. There's definitely a color. It's not as white, no, but it's nowhere near as dark as the sugar color itself. Let's try the beet sugar. So this is sure. our little granules of beet sugar. It does mostly look like just white crystallized sugar and it tasted the same. So let's see how it does in the machine. Starting off strong, putting out a lot of candy. Could beet sugar beat sugar? Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh man, that was great. <laughs> Moving on, we've got our Jamaican Demerara sugar. Okay. It's very similar to just brown sugar, just in a different form, I think. There we go. That looks like it's producing quite nicely. Yeah, it does. Much more of a color change yeah. than the standard brown sugar. Much more of a quantity, too. Or much larger That's quantity. That's true. We're getting a lot more well. out of it. Palm sugar. This is our little pucks with a very different texture. Oh! Ooh. It's a little off balance because it doesn't spread as nicely since it's not a grain. <laughs> what is it doing? Oh, a lot is building up on the sides. Yep. A lot. It's not actually hitting the middle. It's just sort of making these webs. No smell to speak of. All right, there you go. By far our smallest result. Next up. Maple, hopefully, will give us a good result and not just be like a burned flower or something like that. Oh, Ooh. cool. Got some fluff real quick. Will we get a full, regular amount of cotton candy, though? Um, it smells like Christmas. That's it? Yep. That's all we got out of the maple? Okay. Coconut cotton candy. Coconut. And I should say, the coconut oh. sugar wow. has absolutely no flavor of actual coconut. No, it does not taste a... like it, even a little bit. Yeah, look at this. It's the most messy, bad hair day cloud ever. Very dark color, but it was the darkest sugar to start with. So let's try the honey one, yep. see what result we get. I hope please it works, because honey work, flavored cotton candy would be neat. Oh, Something. everything oh, in the oh, air. Oh no, oh no, but it's not sticking together. Okay, this. there's no reason for me to have this anymore. This the stick isn't, does nothing. The stick is doing nothing. Ooh, it smells nice though. It does. Oh yeah, some is building up in the bowl. Most of it's building up in the air. Guys, this was our best chance at figuring out a way to make cotton candy out of honey. We have tried freeze drying it, we tried freezing it, we tried dehydrating it. Nothing tends to work with honey for some reason. There you go. Here it goes. As we burn the machine. Dates. Oh. <coughs> it the smells smell. like burning vegetation. It does not smell at all good. Oh, oh gosh. It's darkening, it's quickly darkening in the machine. All right, we're just gonna say no. We've had no cotton candy wisps at no, all come out. No, but it's definitely burned it. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh that smells so bad. You can see the smoke so coming, bad. just blooming out of it. Sorry, machine. Well, we have tried making cotton candy with all of our types of sugar. Now I believe we do the taste testing. Blue. Let's start with our standard blue. Light, fluffy, dissolves instantly. Tastes like raspberry-ish. White sugar. Very similar texture. Yep. Fluffy, maybe dissolves a hint faster. Not by much. No raspberry flavor. Light brown sugar, which of yep. course gave us a, a much less. smaller. The fibers are actually pretty similar to regular cotton candy, and that was interesting to me. It still pulls apart the same, feels the same, even though it didn't make nearly as much. 
Ooh. That is quite pretty, lovely. Pretty good molasses flavor Ooh. coming through there. It is just a warm flavor. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Beet sugar. Yeah. 100% beet sugar. This gave us possibly our largest volume. I'm going to go ahead and guess that it tastes exactly the same. I bet it does. Sugar. I, I see no difference. I'm not really getting any either. And this is slight, like they both have almost a hint of dustiness to them. That sounds weird, but they do. They're exactly the same to me. Light, fluffy, sugar. Yep. Good cotton candy. The Demerara brown sugar. This okay. brown sugar worked way better than the American light brown sugar. Yeah. Oh, and a much stronger flavor. That wow. molasses kick to it is powerful. <laughs> yeah, it hits the back of your throat. Oh boy. Now this. If you like with the flavor. Some cinnamon, yeah. That, yeah. Mm. Ooh, you could even go more than that. You could probably get some flavor oils of like nutmeg or clove or something to throw yeah. in as well. Ginger. That, if you had yes. some ginger mm -hmm. flavor to add to that with some cinnamon, you'd have like the greatest Christmas cotton candy dessert. It, it tastes just like the granules do, which means it's a darker, richer flavor. And I'm loving it. And it yeah. It really comes through strong. It tastes like baking, which is why it would be so good with all of these spices. She said baking, not bacon. Palm sugar. You liked this one a lot, mostly for I the texture. Did. I'm so sad. We got very little result in the fluffy department. I still like the flavor. To me, it tastes like if you scrape, if you made regular sugar in the cotton candy machine and then scraped some off the sides and ate that. It tastes it's a little like, more crystallized. It tastes buttery to me. Buttery. Yeah. All right. It has like a warmer flavor. I like it. Maple sugar. Again, <laughs> very small result. Sad. Disappointing. Ooh, it's uh, a little burned. So like maple hits and then Ooh. a little burnt after. It's not necessarily bad. It's more of a caramelized than a badly burned. Coconut. It almost looks like coconut fibers, honestly, yeah. which is fantastic. It would not stay together. Yeah, like, this stuff just... doesn't stick well. And I think it didn't melt as nicely as no, some. Oh, you got, if it's you got look at it in beans. the light, yeah, see all of that? Oh, good, good, good. Oh, I'm so Whoa. excited to try it now. Okay, it has like a s scratchy, starchy sort of texture flavor to it. Like that graham that I was talking about is now like a burned graham flavor. Before it tasted like roasted, now it tastes over roasted. All right. Honey powder. Honey powder. We were so disappointed very, that this didn't work. Very little volume. It tastes like a slightly cooked honey. Yep. It is the powder doesn't dissolve as fast as you would think, so it leaves almost like a coating in your mouth. Not necessarily pleasant, unfortunately. Which was your favorite? Uh, the Demerara, the Jamaican brown sugar. Mine I, too. It, it was very nice and fluffy, and that flavor came through strong. Yep. There are a lot of different flavors you could add to that that I think would really complement it. Some vanilla would be great. As we were saying, cinnamon, nutmeg, uh, ginger would all go great with that. Um, so if you had like liquid versions, you know, oils, things like that that we could add into the sugar. I'm sure we could come up with something really good there. Yep. I was interested to see how fluffy the beet sugar was, and I'm curious yeah. why it's different. It might just be that it melts at a different rate because it's in those pearls instead of a powder. It's cool to see which ones work well and which ones don't. This was a lot of fun. Thank you to Rhett and Link on Good Mythical Morning for trying this out and to the person who suggested it online. If you do have anything else similar to this you'd like to see us try, please let us know. Always looking for good ideas. Guys, that's it for today, but we've always got new cool stuff coming out. Go ahead and hit that button to subscribe so you never miss one of these cool videos, and we will see you in the next one. Talk to you then.